Welcome to the Sonosight LX, our high-end kiosk system designed to be portable, fast, and support both procedural and diagnostic needs. In this video, we'll show you how to start using the system. To turn the system on, press the power button. The system will beep to let you know it's starting up. There are several available modules to accommodate your workflow. You can start scanning, directly enter patient information, begin with an exam type, or if you want to learn a procedure, access scan along educational tutorials. The system has physical controls to adjust the image. These include gain and depth controls, a touchpad to control items on the clinical monitor, the ability to freeze and save images and clips, and imaging mode controls. In addition to the touchpad, you can directly control the items on the clinical monitor by touching them. You can even adjust the depth and gain. The clinical monitor also displays your image and depth markers, calculations and measurements, patient and clinician information, as well as study details and system status icons. You can adjust the position of the monitor by moving the adjustable monitor arm. The system also has a touch panel that can be used to navigate to different screens and features. You can enter patient information, choose a transducer and exam type, view reports and worksheets, navigate to the learn feature to view videos, use the patient list to view previous studies, and access onboard help. From the touch panel, you can also freeze the system controls before cleaning. System settings and other features are found under the system menu. You can move the system by pushing or pulling the handle on the back. Adjust the height by stepping on the pedal and pulling up or pushing down on the platform. You can even change the angle of the platform. The full featured stand gives you everything you need at your fingertips, including storage, gel and wipe holders, cable management, and a built-in triple transducer connector or TTC which allows you to install up to three transducers. You can switch between the three transducers at any time. Switching exam types is just as simple. Let's remove a transducer. Start by lifting up the latch on the transducer connector. Turn it 90 degrees clockwise and then pull the connector out. Reverse the process to connect the transducer. A convenient way to charge your system is by using the Sonosite Power Park. Before transporting your system, make sure to fold the clinical monitor down. Then wheel your system to the power park module and push the back of the stand into the dock, making sure that the stand clicks into the dock. The light on the power park module should turn on. To prevent the system from disengaging, lock one or more of the wheels. To make sure that your system is charging, check the light in the upper left corner of the touch panel or on the back of the clinical monitor. Now it's time for you to explore on your own. Watch the help videos online or refer to the system user guide.